In this quick video, we cover all of the most common derivative notation. If we have a simple function like this one here, where we are calculating y as a function of x, then we can use this differentiation operator, either of these two differentiation operators, which are equivalent, meaning that we would like to compute the derivative with respect to the variable x. So differentiation is a verb. We apply the differentiation operator to a function. And after we have applied that differentiation operator, we get the first derivative. In this case, it would be the first derivative of y with respect to x. There are a wide range of popular ways of denoting the first derivative of y with respect to x. So all of the most common ones are here. One of the oldest is Newton's, where he would put a dot above the y. A more common one today that you see is y prime, which is just an apostrophe. Another way to do it is f prime x or dy dx. This one is my favorite. This is the Leibniz notation, which is also very old, like Newton's. Remember a while ago in this video series, we talked about the historical context of modern calculus. We talked about Newton and Leibniz then in more detail. I mentioned then that the Leibniz notation is my favorite. And the reason for that is that the Leibniz notation includes both of the variables that we're working with, in this case, y and x. So it makes it clear exactly what we have the derivative of, and it makes it easier, in my view, to then cross out terms, which is something we'll see a lot of later on as we calculate the derivatives of machine learning cost functions. All right, a couple other notations that follow on from the differentiation operator. So I already mentioned that when we apply the differentiation operator, we get out of that the derivative. So you can optionally include the original function, say f of x, and then put the differentiation operator in front of that. So this, in effect, is f of x before we have differentiated it. After we've differentiated it, we get f prime x or dy dx or any of these other four notations. Another way to incorporate the differentiation operator is to simply use this capital DX differentiation operator, where the X here is a subscript. And then you can include the function F. There could be other functions like G or H involved. In this case, it's just the function F, and we're specifying that. Second derivatives follow along directly from the first derivatives. So if we apply the differentiation operator twice to our function fx, then we get the second derivative. So this is like going from distance over time to speed over time and then to acceleration over time with the second derivative. So in Newton's notation, we have two dots above the y. A more common representation today is y prime prime, two apostrophes after the y. You could have f double prime x, following on from this notation. And again, my favorite is the Leibniz notation where we have d squared y over dx squared. And you'll see why we do it like this, where the d squared is, you know, where the squared is ahead of the y in the numerator and the squared is after the x in the denominator. And this will become more important when we start working with partial derivatives. And then finally, we have the same kinds of uh, differentiation operators is here, but now as the second derivative applied to some function fx. Coming up is a fun series of short videos on all of the various differentiation rules. Enjoy.